right, this is an origin story for stars through the moon. This is a TV show that was aired several years ago. 2008 is when it started. They have it down as a romance. This is more of an adventure. Uh, you know, like wizards and swordsmen and stuff. 94% of people from Google liked this, including myself. It got a poor rating on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know why. And an average rating. This is a book series that was written by Terry Goodkind. He wrote something like 12, 13 of them. I read like, I think, nine. Uh, good series, though. And I was very interested when this came out, but it only played for, I think, three or four seasons. It has it down as two seasons, though, because they were all short seasons, I believe. I think that's what's going on. Maybe it was just two seasons. It says 20 episodes. So recently I watched this, and what did I find? So, <clears throat> to be clear, though, 2008 is when this came out. And after you see this, I don't see how you can possibly deny that this is in reference to the the current debate. Uh, Crow Triple Seven claims that he invented this, but this is 2008, so this is like almost 10 years before Crow made any claim at all. So go ahead and watch this and comment below and share it because this isn't the only thing with Crow. I can't watch him because he's like about talking and he I don't think he's a gravy train. That's what I'm saying at all. So comment below. <laughs> done this to Richard and why only one wizard in the world besides me is capable of working this magic and that wizard works for dark and Ral. we have to get him out of the moonlight it's too late the spell has already taken hold well, can't you undo it I can try what's going to happen to him do you see how one star is beginning to disappear behind the moon Come back to me. It's no use. The spell of the lying moon is impenetrable. No. no. Cast the spell again. I'm not finished. I'm afraid you are, my lord. It's too late. 